Here's another thing that I use a lot, and I think anyone who's seriously into building guitar effects and messing around with electronics should think about building themselves one of these. This is an adjustable power supply, which I made once again from a old like AB switch box from uh, the thrift store. And this one has kind of a long story behind it, but I won't bore you with all those details. Essentially, this is just a, uh, a Velleman uh, adjustable power supply kit that I built into this box. And originally it had um, like a wall wart that I used with it. And then I decided I wanted to use this transformer. So I uh, wired it up for a IEC socket. And I uh, have this little transformer that I pulled out of some old crappy uh, crate bass amp that just was noisy no matter what the heck I did with it. And I simply added uh, some things like a power switch, um, some banana jacks, and uh, probe jacks so that I can plug my multimeter into it and see what voltage I'm getting and then here's how I adjust the voltage with this knob and I also have a little neon lamp indicator that tells me when the power's on so that I don't leave the thing on all the time like I sometimes do and uh, the one trick um, to make this work that I had to do was to cut a hole in here and insert a, a non-conductive piece of, uh, actually is this perf board that had no copper on it and uh, I use that as an insulator and um, so that gives me a barrier between the metal and these so it doesn't short out and uh, what's nice about this little power supply is if you accidentally short your your uh, ground and power to each other they uh, you know, it has a protection diode in it so you won't damage anything and um, I made these graphics a long time ago with AutoCAD and this stuff called Sticky Back. So you can see here it's uh, 1.5 to 30 volts up to 1.5 amps and uh, 30 volt maximum input if you were going to use like DC and what's cool about this too is it's made so that you can either use an AC or a DC power source um, just depending on you know how you connect the things up here to the board so another thing that um, I use all the time and actually I have the schematic in here and as you can see it just has an LM317 um, adjustable voltage regulator which I've used in several things that I've made and it's a very simple little circuit once again built into one of these old AB switch boxes that people used to use in the like the late 80s and I don't know 90s mid 90s heck I, I yeah about the mid 90s I still remember using dot matrix printers at one of my engineering jobs and having to switch between printers. So yeah there you go I think you know everyone needs a power supply and they come in real handy and uh, the beauty about do-it-yourself is you can build it however you want it to be. You know this is what works for me it goes on my bench it has a little spot and uh, it's right there at arm's length I just turn the thing on and I've got nice power I don't have to worry about wasting batteries or anything like that so there you go.